as a continuation of our discussion from last week, where we talked about 2019, looking back a review, now we're going to look ahead at 2020 and do a, an outlook for the year ahead. But first, we have an interview with Professor Rick Lenhart, CMT, who has some very exciting news for us. So welcome to Power Charting. I'm Bruce Frazier, your host. Professor Rick Lenhart is the lead faculty and the program coordinator of the business department at Feather River College. And he has a very uh, illustrious career in the investment field as a, he's been a broker, he's been a trader, he was an RIA, a registered investment advisor. He has his MBA in finance from the prestigious Golden Gate University School of Finance with a concentration in investments. And Rick has uh, had um, a tremendous experience in the Golden Gate University program, and he's bringing his experience there into the Feather River College, where he has some great news for us about a new investment course that he wants to tell us about today and about plans for the future. Rick, welcome to Power Charting. Thanks so much for being here. Uh, thank you, Bruce. I, I really appreciate this opportunity to talk to uh, you and your listeners about this new course. It's, it's pretty exciting. Oh my gosh. It's like, so it's a continuation. It's the next stage uh, after Golden Gate University. Tell us all about it. Okay, so uh, as you mentioned, um, I am the program coordinator of the business department at Feather River College. Um, I am also a CMT, chartered market technician, uh, as most of you know, through the CMT Association. And I am just really excited about being, offer, uh, being able to offer this, this new class. Um, it is an introduction to investing course, which I know a lot of your listeners are, are probably um, uh, pretty sophisticated when it comes to investing, um, but this is just going to be the first course of a series. So, um, you know, I always like to say, even though it's a beginning course, um, at times we're, we're all beginners and, and it never hurts to go back to the basics um, and kind of look at it uh, through fresh eyes. So, um, really excited about this. It, it, it is a full 18 week semester long class and it will be online through our uh, platform. So um, it's a three unit course, uh, completely transferable to uh, the university system. Um, and classes begin fairly soon. January 13th uh, is the first day of class and uh, registration is open now. And you can enroll on our website. I will uh, kind of go through a little more details uh, later in the um, presentation, but our website is frc.edu. So this course that you're offering, which is going to be a, a very thorough course in uh, aspects of investing and finance is uh, something that people will literally take from the comfort of their own home. And, yeah. Uh, so they could be anywhere in the world and be going to Feather River College. Exactly, yes. Uh, comfort of your own home. And um, we will be having um, some live uh, you know, lectures and presentations, but everything will be recorded. So you don't have to worry about you know, logging in at a certain time. Um, everything will be available on uh, the course. And so there's going to be uh, t tests and uh, tests of your knowledge and uh, ways for students to be able to assess how they're doing in the class as they go along. This is a regular, uh, rigorous, full college course. Exactly. I mean, it is part of our business program at Feather River College. It's an elective course. Um, I have students enrolled in it right now who are actually getting their degree. So it's, it's a regular, full um, college level course. Wow. Tell us more. Um, well, the, the course is actually called Personal Finance. Um, you see it there on the screen, uh, Business 118. So that's what you need to know when you go to sign up. Um, business 118, Personal Finance. And a little bit more about the class. 
Um, as I said, it is an introductory course, so we really do start with the basics. You know, what's a stock, what's a bond, um, a different type of investing and risk management strategies. Um, you know, a lot of the students that we have, um, you know, they're fresh out of high school, they're, they're eager to learn about business. Um, but unfortunately, you know, investing isn't one of those um, courses that's taught a lot at, in the universities. So I think having the opportunity to teach something like this uh, and hopefully get a lot of people that may not have a whole bunch of exposure to the markets, you know, an opportunity to learn. And, I, you know, I think it's, a, it, it, it's really a, a good opportunity for um, students. Um, you know, we're going to start out with the basics, stocks and bonds. We're going to move on to a little bit on the history and theory of the markets, you know, going back to the Jesse Livermore days and, you know, uh, Dow theory, um, some of the uh, important concepts that, that go way back. One of my favorite topics is uh, trader psychology, talking a little bit about the psychology of the markets um, and, um, you know, from in both an investment and a trading aspect. And then we get to jump into the fun stuff, starting out with fundamentals, you know, kind of giving a background on fundamental analysis and then rolling up our sleeves and really getting into uh, technical analysis. Um, you know, starting with the basics once again, but ramping up fairly quick, uh, get to talk more about, you know, some derivatives, you know, futures options, short selling margin. Um, so as you can see, Bruce, and you know, it starts out, pretty basic, but by the end of the semester, you know, it is an 18 week college level course. So we do kind of get into the nuts and bolts um, of technical analysis and, and the markets. Uh, this is a very sophisticated uh, list of subjects. It's risk management strategies, derivatives, short selling, the uh, trading psychology that this is a, um, this is a really rich, uh, list of subjects that are in this course, which I think would be of interest to people at any level of investing skill. Yeah, I totally agree. Um, you know, like I said, you, you never, um, it's never, you, you know, opportunity to go back to the basics and learn things from the beginning. It, it's always a good thing, you know, kind of go back through and then look at it. And like I said, kind of going, um, you know, starting out pretty, pretty basic and then delving into some of the more advanced topics. Um, obviously, you know, this is a lot of information. So we're on, we're not going to be able to get into, um, you know, every subject with a lot of detail, but I do think it's, it's a great overview. Well, you have very ambitious plans for the future. Yes. This, uh, is now a good time to talk about what you uh, expect going forward. Yes, it is. Um, real quick, I just wanted to show here, you know, give a shout out to stock charts. Um, we are going to be using stock charts extensively in the course. Um, as you know, you know, I've, I was fortunate enough to get to work with uh, Dr. Pruden, um, Roman Bagamazov, and Brett Biome. You know, we, we did some work for stock charts, uh, wrote some articles, helped with the certification exam. Um, and, you know, I just think it's a great platform to use for the class. Uh, we're also, you know, there's a book here, Investing Quick Start Guide. This is just a uh, kind of introduction to the market. I, I reviewed a lot of texts before I picked this one. I think it's a, it's a great um, overview of the basics of the market. And then um, working with the CMT Association, that's, uh, as we go forward, as you talked about, you know, we're gonna look at some courses in the future working with CMT as an academic partner um, and using some of their uh, materials that they use in the CMT exams as well. So you can really see here that they're, the DNA of this course and future courses that are gonna come out of Feather River College really uh, has its roots in uh, uh, the very prestigious program at Golden Gate University. And so, uh, and, you know, I'd like to point out, I know you're going to do this. Uh, this is a great value. This taking these courses at the Feather River College is a, tr is a uh, real value for students. Oh, absolutely. And, and if you look here, the, the kind of the screenshot in the middle, this is the, uh, 
the dashboard that we have for our learning management system. So, you know, the technology is great. Um, you know, the California Community Colleges is one of the best deals in education. You know, we are a, a very large higher educational system for uh, California residents. It's only $46 a unit to take a class. For out-of-state tuition, it is a little bit more than that. Um, but I believe if you, you know, if you're only taking one class, there's a discount there as well. Um, so yeah, it is definitely a great way to take a course that is not only um, going to teach you a lot about investing, but also, you know, you get the college credit for it as well. Terrific. Wow. This is very exciting. What more uh, do we, uh, is there to tell about this? Well, you had mentioned it a little bit ago that we are planning to turn this into a series of courses in the future. Um, the focus is going to be more on technical analysis as we move along. Um, you know, this introductory course is just to kind of get everybody up to the same level, kind of uh, entice people into the exciting world of investing. Um, and then focus some more courses on, you know, uh, more advanced topics in technical analysis. Uh, talking with CMT Association, we are looking at putting these courses together to help prepare students that want to get the CMT designation, um, be an opportunity to take some courses. And uh, once Feather River College, we are looking at becoming an academic partner with the CMT program. The great part about this is if you are um, in our, uh, enrolled in Feather River College, taking these future technical analysis classes, it will help with uh, reduced exam fees and ex um, reduced fees in general with the CMT program. Wow. So there's another way you save money. Definitely. Um, wow. and, and, you know, this, as you know, the CMT designation just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Um, I was just talking with Brett Viome the other day who just got back from Mumbai, India. And um, it looks like we actually have, I believe he said, as many or more test takers in India now as we do in the U.S. So it's, it's definitely an international certification that I think is just going to keep growing. Well, so for uh, people to learn more about future course offerings and also to, to, to sign up and prepare for the course that's coming here in January, what do people need to do? Well, first off, as you see here, you can email me. Um, my email's up there right now. It's rlenhart at frc.edu. And that would get you on our mailing list. Um, and we can, you know, any information you want, we can get to you. You know, don't worry, we're not going to spam you. Um, you know, this will just be for information on um, this course and future courses. Uh, also, we're looking at uh, once we get these other courses developed is you can earn a certificate in investment analysis. Um, it'll be three to five classes and that will be another bonus. You know, you can go through and get a, a state certified um, certification in, in investing. Impressive. Well, uh, can uh, potential students just go right to the college's website and just sign up for the class? Exactly. And, and that's exactly what we do. So um, real quick here, this is just a little bit about the college. Like I said, you know, this is a um, fully online course. Uh, if you do happen to be in the Northern California area, you know, up here in God's country, right, Bruce? Absolutely. Well, my family's from up there. I could tell lots of stories. So. <laughs> um, yeah. So the, the college itself is just a great place. It's a, it's a beautiful, um, uh, beautiful school. We are fully accredited by WASC, you know, Western Association of Schools and Colleges. Our, our campus is actually more than 400 acres. Um, we have not only great academics, but we have really top athletic programs as well. Um, in fact, our uh, women's volleyball team um, just won the state championships in San Diego over the weekend. Impressive. Yeah, so we have baseball, football, soccer, rodeo, you know, all the, all the sports. Um, another interesting uh, tidbit is we do have a pretty extensive technical analysis library. Um, working with CMT Association, once again, you know, they have a lot of books donated to them over the years. Uh, and they've kind of catalog, uh, cataloged them all and are distributing them to college libraries that 
you know, um, offer classes in investing and technical analysis. So we've been able to put together quite, uh, a, I would say, probably one of the best technical analysis libraries in the community college system. Well, so very best uh, of um, uh, luck for you and the program. Uh, we expect there's going to be huge interest in this first class and the future classes to come. And Rick, will you come back on to power charting in the future and tell us how things are going? And then also maybe we can do some uh, technical analysis together. Yeah, that right would be on the show. Good. Yeah, I would love that. I would love to be able to roll up my sleeves and, and get involved doing some technical analysis and definitely come on future shows and um, kind of talk about the program, talk about how it's going and, and any future courses that we're going to offer. Well, Professor Rick Lenhart, thank you so much for being here. And we look forward to talking to you soon in the future. Okay, um, here real quick, just a couple of shots of the college campus. This is our upper campus, as you can tell. Um, we're kind of nestled up in the trees. Um, this is our main library where those uh, TA books are. Oops. We also have, you know, as I mentioned, a sports program. So this is just uh, part of our athletic complex. We have an ag program. This is part of the ag program, the actual the equine center. And then lastly, once again, here's my information. If anybody wants to get any more information, please send me an email, log on to the FRC website, um, or give me a call. And I'd be glad to talk to you um, about the opportunities here. I can't believe you work in such a beautiful place. And know. you know what's going to happen is people from all over are going to see those pictures, start taking classes, and they're just going to move there. <laughs> so, anyway, well... Professor Rick, thank you so much for being on and for giving us your time. And uh, we look forward to talking to you again in the future. Sounds great. Thank you very much, Bruce. Happy holidays to everybody. In the time that we have left, let's get into the outlook for 2020. We will continue this discussion into uh, the next couple of episodes of power charting as we come into the end of the year. Oh, and let me make the point that I have special guest Roman Bogomazov coming in next week on power charting. And so we'll want to hear Roman's thoughts about 2019 and 2020 in the next episode. So be sure to tune in. Now, we have talked about this in our prior power charting episode as we look back on 2019. And you can see here that there's been a cause built. This is an important point that I want to make is that we have this incredibly big cause, which we did a point and figure chart on last time. And the, in this case, the S&P 500 is up and out of this reaccumulation area, which we're calling the third turning or the third big reaccumulation of the bull market that started in 2009. So the question that we want to ask is, is this a backup and a liftoff into a new uptrend, which is uh, our primary view, but we want to get a little bit more uh, finely tuned on our look at 2020 to see if we can uh, sort of, you know, work out what could happen in the course of the year because it's a very important election year. You can see here that the volume on the rally off the October lows has been good. It's been good in expanding uh, until the last few weeks. We're coming into the end of the year Oftentimes, the end of the quarter, end of the year is an important period to expect a turn, especially if you've been in an uptrend, turns into a trading range or a downtrend, and vice versa, as we saw at the end of uh, 2018, when we had a big shakeout decline into the very end of the year. And so we are going to be on our toes looking for potential reversal. So here 
we can see that we're coming into the end of the year on an, a rising scale market. And uh, this is, uh, and then volume is generally been good, but is diminishing a little bit in the most recent weeks. So uh, we'll come back to this in a minute. We saw this chart also, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this. Go back to the prior episode for a review. The point I would want to make here is this is a cause that was built in 2018, 2019, and this is the shakeout low uh, accumulation count. And uh, also we had a beautiful distribution count all through here, which gave us nice targets down to the low. So we really depend on these counts to give us an idea of how far the market can rally. As we saw here, we had a count up to 27,000, and we are above that now, a little over 28,000. And so we have used up the fuel in the tank on this accumulation structure that gave us this beautiful, just straight up year in 2019. Fuel is used up. And so now let's uh, look at uh, this chart that we did back in the beginning of 2019, which is the same count area, slightly different structure and counting methodology. So this gave us a, because we have more finely tuned data on a smaller time frame, we have a count 28.3.29.254. We very well could stretch up to that higher count. We are at the lower count effectively now. So the fuel is still got a little bit left in the tank potentially that could take us up to that 29,254 area. And uh, that could be a, a momentum push into January potentially, or it could all happen at the end of uh, 2019. Or we uh, very well, we've hit the target, so to speak, already. We could be pretty much there right now. And so fuel effectively for the most part is used up in that base that gave us the big rally in 2019. With that in mind, we're looking at a condition or a situation where we could have a uh, uh, need to build a new cause. Now, I just wanna show you this is the bar here of the uh, 2019 rally. Now, this is a yearly bar arithmetic scale. I showed you this last time. This is a really big bar. Potentially, this is the bull market. Potentially, this is a climactic bar. But how do we handle that tactically? And so uh, we'll come back to that too. And this is the way we should look at the yearly uh, bar chart data which is on a logarithmic scale. This goes back to 1925. Now, here is our anchor points for our demand line, uh, trend line here and here. We draw the parallel off of the intervening high. You can see how well this has worked. So we have here uh, uh, five straight years where it basically rode on these highs. This was the bull market of the uh, mid-2000 or for mid-2000 area 2003 to 2007 and then here's the the big bear market here which almost got to the demand line this is called the overbought line up here well look where we are we're right on the resistance of the overbought line and I believe as we come into the end of the year that this could produce some kind of a stopping point for the market and the market's need to rest or potentially worse this is a resistance area that can't be exceeded or marginally so and then we get a pullback i don't think that's going to happen we've got pretty big point and figure counts from here but we have a way to tactically handle that so there is a very important resistance area at work right here on this overbought line of the trend channel. And so this is uh, something for us to keep in mind about what's coming next. 
So here, let's look at a potential analog for how 2020 could go. This is a US presidential election year chart that basically averages together all of the presidential election years of the last 116 years. So every fourth year when there's a presidential election, all the, those data points are averaged together for all of those election years. This is the sum of that result. And I think it's a very interesting chart because what it suggests is that in the beginning of 2020 in January, we have a push up. So let's say we have this current rally off the October low and we have this rally upward. This could be the rally that gets us up to 29,250. And so we have a bit of follow through into January and then we have a reaction. This has becomes a, uh, a buying climax automatic reaction. Here's an up thrust of that area that comes in April and then a test of the lows that comes in May. So we can see here that this whole area becomes a new cause being built for another move up. And so we know that the Fed has been really putting a lot of liquidity into the system, that they've reliquified, interest rates are quite low. The reason that the Fed does that in 2019 or the year before presidential election year is because they need to effectively withdraw their uh, policy making and become quite neutral in the election year. And they know that when they put high powered money into the economy, into the banking system, that that money takes time to work its way through employment and GDP numbers, which favorable numbers help to get the incumbent party re-elected, which is the case here. And so, we have a cause being built and a reaccumulation, and it takes us right into the end of the second quarter of the year, which, so we have, we've had a year, four quarters of up market in 2019, 2020, we get two quarters of sideways, and then off the May low, you can see that we have quite a spectacular rally that goes up uh, for, the year into the election, which is taking place right here. And so this is what the average of all of the years do in presidential election cycles, and they're not all perfect. We basically look for trend. As we look at these kinds of charts, we don't look for perfect patterns, but we look for themes. And I think this is a logical theme for 2020 as we spend the first few quarters building a cause for another move up. And then in the second half of the year, we get a big glorious bullish run upward into the election. And so there is one of our strategies. I have another one for you as we uh, move on with our 2020 outlook. And we will do that in a future episode of Power Charting. And I just want to thank you very much for being here and uh, being part of our program. So see you next time. Thank you so much.